Here are five foods that every person losing weight should be eating. But who am I to tell you anything? I went from this to this, then this to this. I've been building muscle and losing fat over the past five years quite successfully. I'm not here to preach anything to you. I'm just here to give you my life experience so you can pick and choose what you want to add into your own life. Let's get one thing out of the way. This is all in my opinion. There is no certain food that will specifically shred fat off your body. If anyone tells you this, don't believe them. They are spewing pure bullshit. These foods just help me personally. There's nothing mad magical about them. They follow some key scientific fat loss principles, but that's it. And I will explain all of them within this following video. Number one is carrots. Why carrots? This is probably the food that helped me out the most. It's very high in fiber. I think it is one of, if not the highest fiber vegetable you can eat. And honestly, it just tastes good. Like carrots are very healthy, high fiber, and they're also kind of sweet. They're super low in calories, super filling, and thus they really aid you on your diet because they're a very low calorie, high volume food. And remember this, most foods that people consider superfoods or foods that shred fat off your body are just simply very nutritious, low calorie, high volume foods. So once again, I will give you the foods that help me the most, but you can find similar foods and interchange them within this list. Number two is chicken breast. This is a lean protein source. It gives you lots of protein without a lot of calories. Now by all means, a more red meat like beef might be more nutritious and get more nutrients into your diet, but if you're strictly trying to lose lose weight and get the ball rolling with it, replacing red meat with leaner meat like chicken or turkey is fantastic because you can eat the same amount of meat and not really notice the difference but get maybe 500 or a thousand less calories. This will fill you up very well, it's very satiating and it can also taste quite good if you just season it right. Seriously, just learn how to season chicken and the blandness of it will go away forever. Number 3. Watermelon. God how much I love this fruit. Once again, this is a low calorie, high volume volume type of food. Watermelon is almost all water and it is absolutely phenomenal when it comes to sweet tooth cravings. Now by all means you shouldn't be eating watermelon all the time but if you get cravings for something sweet just fill up on like a kilogram or two pounds of watermelon. It will completely take away all the cravings, they'll fill your stomach up and you're not going to really want to eat for the next like what three four hours and this is exactly how I use this fruit. Number four we have egg whites. Very similar to chicken breast. This is another very lean protein source that's essentially just all protein. It's very low calories, very high volume. You can add it to other foods to give other foods more volume. And one of my favorite uses for egg whites, I used to whisk them up into this very fluffy concoction and then I would eat that or freeze it and eat it or turn it into meringues, which were also amazing. Number five, we have cauliflower. This is a very diverse vegetable. I definitely know there's a lot of people that are going to watch this video that don't like it, but personally, I liked it and it was a very good substitute for rice. I love to make cauliflower rice because I love eating rice. I mean, who doesn't? But when I was cutting weight, I wanted to reduce the calories but still get the same volume. So I would use cauliflower to make rice instead of regular rice to make rice. You can also dip it in certain sauces and have like a very low calorie snack that's quite filling. But yeah, overall, another vegetable that's low in calories, high in volume, and kept me satiated throughout my diet. If you're ready to take the first step, press the first link in the description and join our free school group. Here you will meet like-minded people and get more direct help from me and our community. If I gave you anything of value within this video, please consider subscribing. It'd really help us out. And don't forget to stay savvy with your diet.